all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to be a very quick yes or no answer to whatever question you would like to ask. That means no situation cards, just the transparent tarot with a quick yes or no. Please remember, this is a general reading. Lots of people asking lots of questions, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you'd like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's quick yes or no reading, we are going to have reading number one with the lapis lazuli. Reading number two with the pink opal. Reading number three with the phantom quartz. Reading number four with the unikite. And reading number five with the rhodochrosite. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition is not gonna lead you wrong. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into these readings now. So I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number one with the Lapis Lazuli. Your first message of the reading is to make a decision. So there's a decision that needs to be made in your realm somewhere. Maybe that's why you're looking for a yes or no reading. Let's take a look and see what the guides say regarding your question. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot yes or no to the questions of group number one thank you thank you thank you all right so i'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready then i'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top taking three to six cards that will get us our yes or no answer all right let's take a look that's good all right we'll get this to hold the cards we start with the hanging man. The hanging man can talk about delays or it can talk about the need to shift perspective. In this particular deck though, it's represented by a chrysalis. It talks about transformation as well, going through a transformative period, shifting our perspectives and changing to transform. Next, we have the six of wands. The six of wands talks about victory being victorious, celebrating your victory. That is beautiful energy. Next, we have the star that talks about healing and a gift coming in from the divine. So receiving something from the universe as well as beautiful healing energy coming in and topping everything off. We have the sun. The sun talks about positivity and growth. It is probably the most positive card in tarot and it just has a beautiful light energy to it that um that's all about you growing and you know your vibration rising and just lots of positive energy all right so looking at this as a yes or no this is a very solid yes to whatever you ask tarot thank you so much for spending your time with me today if you enjoyed your reading please make sure you click that subscribe button until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number two with the pink opal. Your first message of the reading is to be kind to yourself. So make a point of being kind to yourself. Show yourself that same kindness you'd show to everybody else. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, there we go. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay, so we start with the magician. The magician talks about manifesting. Um, using your talents and skills to manifest what it is you desire into your realm. Bringing things into your realm by focusing your energy on what you're grateful for. Now, you can also manifest things that you're, you're not super grateful for. If you're worrying a lot, then that can show up as a manifestation of the things you're worrying about coming to fruition. That's why you've got a red dragon and a white dragon. You can manifest on both sides of the coin. But you guys probably are manifesting right now. Next, we have the wheel. The wheel talks about luck and fate guiding you forward. You um, really moving forward in a very lucky energy. Now here it's represented by a medicine wheel, so it may also have some healing aspects to it. Next, we have the five of wands. The five of wands is about fighting. Fighting, controversial energy, arguing, that sort of thing. Next, we have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords talks about the need to let go of things. It can also talk about, um, it can talk about someone doing something that's not completely honest in your realm. Maybe someone keeping something from you that they should tell you or not telling you the, the complete truth. Next, we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups talks about stepping into um, wish fulfillment, something feeling like a dream being granted. And topping everything off, we have the world. The world talks about completion, something coming to completion, you moving forward. All right, now looking at this as a yes or no, I know we've got the fighting and even the possible dishonesty in the Seven of Swords, but we also have the Magician and the Wheel of Fortune and the World and the Nine of Cups saying you're being granted some sort of wish fulfillment. So I feel like there may be some challenges you have to overcome and some things you have to deal with, but the energy itself is quite positive. The answer to your question is yes. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number three with the Phantom Quartz. Your first message of the reading is to embrace change. So make sure you are open and ready to embrace change. Change is not always bad. Sometimes it's really good. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number three, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no to their questions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, once more. There we go. Okay, we'll get this to hold the cards. All right, so we start with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords talks about um, taking action. She can represent a person if she does, very action-oriented, very protective, and very, very direct. She doesn't pull any punches. She says what she means, sometimes even lacking tact a little bit. She talks about um, the energy of the Queen of Swords, talks about taking action and being ready to protect your energy. Next, we have the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords talks about paying attention to details. And um, also it has an energy of watching, like maybe you watching somebody else on social media or somebody watching you on their social media. Next, we have the 10 of Pentacles. The 10 of Pentacles talks about abundance, real significant abundance coming in. That is, um, yeah, it, it's kind of a game changer level of uh, abundance. So abundance headed in with the way it's laid on top of the Queen of Swords, there may be action involved in it, but abundance coming in. Next, we see the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands talks about feeling overwhelmed, 
feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Now, it's interesting that we have the Ten of Pentacles on top of the Queen of Swords, which is about action, and the Ten of Wands on top of the Page of Swords, which is about watching. I feel like maybe you're watching others and kind of trying to keep up with the Joneses, and that's just making you feel overwhelmed. Focus on yourself, your action, your protection of your energy, and you will step into that abundance you desire. Next, we have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands talks about partnerships growing and flourishing, um, partnership energy, and then topping everything off, we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment, uh, dreams coming true, wishes being granted. All right, so looking at this as a yes or no, I feel like the answer to your question is most likely yes. Um, there is the advice here to stop watching and being overwhelmed at what others are doing and focus on what you need to do. Focus on yourself and let that, um, that anything that you desire really come into your realm. Wishes are being granted, but you can't spend all your time wanting something someone else has or focusing on what everyone else has. Focus on you. The universe is bringing great things in for you, so be ready to receive it. All right, so the answer to your question is most likely yes. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number four with the Unikite. Your first message of the reading is to live in the now. So make sure you're living in the present moment, focusing on what's going on right now, not letting your focus drift to the past or even the future, but just living in the minute. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay, oh, I almost, almost lost them. All right, so we're gonna start with the magician. The magician talks about manifesting, using your talents and skills to manifest what you desire into your realm. Next, we have the 10 of wands. The 10 of wands talks about things feeling a little bit overwhelming, you know, um, like there's just the kind of the weight of the world on your shoulders sort of energy. Next, we have the chariot. The chariot talks about things moving forward through your strength, your drive, your determination. However, in this particular deck, those horses are not moving. So there may be a blockage keeping things from moving forward. Next, we have the fool. The fool talks about a new beginning, kind of where you jump in and go for it. It's one of the most significant beginnings in tarot but it is a new beginning where you just kind of go for it, not really looking before you leap. Next, we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups talks about a proposal. Could be work-related, it could be, work be um, relationship-related, like taking things to the next level in your relationship. And topping everything off, we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands can represent marriage. Um, it can also represent things, doors opening to things you want to commit your energy to. So the desire to commit. Um, this is one of the marriage cards. It's kind of the happy marriage card. It is like, you know, I really like you and I want to spend all my time with you. So let's, you know, let's run away and get married, that sort of thing. With it being on top of the Knight of cups like that, many of you may be asking about relationships that you're afraid are not move, not going anywhere. And um, they, they will pan out in the future. Like they're going to go to a place where you guys make commitments. There may be some blockage you guys need to deal with before you move forward, and it could have to do with someone feeling overwhelmed, either you or them. All right, now, whether or not you're asking about a relationship, looking at this as a yes or no, we've got lots of major arcana in here, the magician, the chariot, the fool. Um, they're all very positive. The chariot in this particular deck has kind of a blockage to it. 
but it is, I mean, it's not super negative. It's just that things are not moving forward because of the blockage. But the other major arcana, very positive, and even the minor arcana, mostly positive. It looks like the answer to your question is yes. All right, that is all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number five with the Rhodochrosite. Your first message of the reading is to remember your worth. So make sure that no matter what's going on, you remember your value and your worth. Now let's take a look at your yes or no answer. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no to the questions of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, we'll get this to hold the cards. Okay. We start with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords talks about um, moving forward, but maybe carrying some things with you, you need to release some emotional baggage from previous relationships, that sort of thing. So moving forward, but needing to let go of the past so that you can move forward. Next, we have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles talks about generosity. Um, it can represent you or someone you're dealing with, but it's got a very generous energy. Next, we have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles wants to be the one that gets to jump in and help with whatever situation. Um, he wants people to call him so that he can be the one to save the day. He likes the idea of taking care of people and again it could represent you or someone you're dealing with. Probably that energy directed towards you if it is someone you're dealing with. Next we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups talks about looking back seeing how far you've come, recognizing your growth. It can also talk about reconnecting to people from your past. Next, we have the Seven of Pentacles, which talks about planting the seeds for your abundance and waiting for them to grow and mature so that you can step into them. So I feel like you have abundance out in front of you, you've planted the seeds, and you just kind of have to be patient to let it grow. Topping everything off, we have the lovers. The lovers talks about soulmate connections, normally romantic in nature. We also have that um, queen and king of pentacles. So we have the, uh, the couple from the pentacles, which is very foundational energy. You guys may be asking about soulmates or asking about relationships, that sort of thing here. All right, now looking at this as a yes or no, there is lots of positivity here. The idea that you need to be patient, but uh, and the idea that you need to release some things as you move forward, but it looks like the answer to your question is yes. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.